Behold, RPGs and Baby Makes 3. RPGs and Baby Makes 3, Reimagined. Well, you gotta tell me when you're recording. I never do, I always just start it. <laughs> well, now you have to edit that part out. <laughs> RPGs and Baby Makes 3 back after a long I don't want to say hiatus because doesn't hiatus almost sound like um like relaxing just chilling not doing other stuff like it almost seems like a vacation yeah when when was the last one I don't know I mean we did the one about the game shop but I think we did another one since then Mm. so the game shop was late well, it oh, doesn't matter how bones. long it's been, because it feels like it's been forever. Because oh, that's what life feels like right yeah. now. Yeah. We are, um, we're playing a live action role playing game right now, and we're, we're, our roles have been really crappy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think we should just talk about this. I think I need to talk about it. I mean, because we... It all started on Friday the 13th. But did it, though? Can you think of anything? Well, so I was thinking that that during this part part of the process, we also had to, or during this last few weeks, we also had to uh, have our car gone because it was in a, an accident in late or mid-August. Yeah, we got rear-ended. We got rear-ended. It was not our fault, and the car had to be repaired. Well, the guy was really for, cool, though. I he mean, was. He just, he just knew it was a situation that... But it took months or whatever oh, to get it into the actual shop to get fixed. Yeah, you know, when they called me uh, and they were starting to ask about scheduling, I was like, okay, well, how about we drop it off on Monday? And the woman gave me a really long pause. And then she was like, what was it October something? Was, it was like yeah. a month and a half after. <laughs> yeah. Like, okay. Yeah, so I sort of feel like it might have actually began back in August and then the results of what happened in august hit during this period because really it hit right after i don't feel like there was any like big problems in september though no september was fine yeah so i don't think we can say okay so friday the 13th friday the 13th a day that i've always held close to my heart was it a full moon too two black cats crossed our path early in the day which we've actually always thought of as good luck yeah yeah because we have a cat, and you can hear his collar jingling in the background. Oh, right damn. Um, yeah, so it started with you that day, didn't it? Was it earlier that day that I got chased down by a maniac? Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure, based on your description, it sounds like maybe he was high on meth. Yeah, so I was out driving, and this guy just... So I had to pull out into traffic. There was a lot of traffic. And I had to pull out and Because you were but... doing something nice. You were picking up flea medication or something for cats. And somebody let me pull out, but then the person who let me pull out, another driver got mad at them for some reason. Not, no, there actually was no reason, because this person was completely unreasonable. And somehow, because they let me out... I ended up getting involved in some sort of, <laughs> I don't know, road raging maniacs, like death wish, and uh, basically this guy like was t- trying was like taunting myself, another driver, and then finally a third driver. Um, I'm gonna have to wonder how long this was road. going on because they just passed Eastside Precinct. If it wasn't too far, like yeah, I would have pulled into them. I mean, the so. Precinct. I would say, how far would you say that the animal, um, I'm sorry, the vet is from our, where I would turn onto B Road? Oh, from there? Um, the vet to B Road, because that's how far quarter that... Quarter mile? A half quarter, a mile? half a mile. Okay, not far. Let, like, it, not more than half a mile, for sure. Probably less than that. And it was, it was terrifying, and I just actually... Gave me no eye contact. I just went the speed limit, and like I did nothing to instigate stuff. Um, and at one point, he pulled out a video. He ran in front of me, slammed on the brakes, pulled out a video camera, started videotaping me. It was this very scary sort of situation. So yes, I guess that was the first thing that happened. You know, you're probably on someone's Facebook wall 
with your video of you and this person's friends are like, yeah, that's that guy for whatever his story was. I don't even know what I could have possibly done. I don't know. No, I don't think that probably happened because I think you're right. I think this person had to be on drugs because it was just so, but it was very scary, like, really. Yeah, no. I mean, the way that you described him, like, blaring his horn, screaming at people, riding mm-hmm. their butts, I mean. But yeah. that wasn't even anywhere near the worst thing that happened that day. No. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, tell the story. So. You tell it well. Oh, thank you. So there's a place out here called Oatland Island, and it's a wildlife rehabilitation center, but a lot of the animals there cannot be reintroduced to the wild. So awesome. They do great work. They always do special events, and one of their big events is the Halloween hike, where they have people dress up as animals at the exhibits, kind of at the exhibits. Um where they teach you a little something and every kid gets a piece of candy and then moves on to the mm-hmm. next. Or like a toy. Some of them had like spider. Um, yeah, spider you know, snakes. Yeah. Stuff like that. Um, yeah. And we were waiting for a friend to catch up with us. And Lincoln has this thing right now where he wants to be the line leader, which means, you know, just <laughs> the front of the line, the leader. Um, and so we were trying to stall him. Yeah, he had run way up ahead. Well, yeah. not way up ahead, but, you I know, mean, like 50 he's feet up ahead. kind of close to that street. Yeah. Um, and so I asked him, hey, because he's dressed up as Siren Head. Uh huh. Of course, because you know that's what four year olds dress up as yep. Siren Head. Yep, scary monsters uh, with look that emergency one up, Siren listeners. Heads. Um, and I said, you know, do you want to spin like Siren Head? And I thought, you know, he would do just a little like do 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 and spin. Oh no, 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 no. Um, so there it was. We are on a slippery wooden walkway. It was drizzling slightly too, by the that way. Was, Misty. Yeah, yeah. That was maybe two feet off the ground, I think. Uh, and he puts all of the gusto and energy of a little near four-year-old into that spin. And he spins the most epic <laughs> spin in his rain boots and proceeds to fly off the side of the walkway and onto his elbow. And, you know, Lincoln takes a lot of falls. He is half of a Helmers, and we do not have the best uh, center of gravity. And I um, can confirm this based on my 20-plus years known Gretchen. And my dad. Oh, yeah. And your dad, brother. too. Your your brother as well. Yes, oh, your yeah. brother. Yeah, all three. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a Helmers it's thing. Yeah, it is. Um. And he takes a lot of falls, but he usually will cry for a second, brush himself off, run on. Dude did not stop crying this time. Mm -hmm. Um, We could definitely tell something was wrong. Yeah. So we, moments before that, the visiting fire department, which hands out candy there, uh, left on an emergency call. (laughs) So they had left the premises. Yep. So, um... We started calling urgent care and heading to the car. Well, no, I just want to say, like, we also, like, pulled up the sleeve, and I remember saying, that doesn't look right. Oh, There's yeah. There's something did not look right about yeah, his elbow. it looked... And he couldn't move his arm. He didn't bigger. want to move his arm No, at all. he screamed. Yeah, it was not. Although he never really seemed to cry. He was just, like, in pain. I mean, he's a tough guy. He's, he's super a tough. a really tough kid. And so uh, we, you know, try to get in touch with urgent care because there's a kid's urgent care here. And um, we're heading to the car. No fire department. The um, police officer crossing guard says there's no EMTs on site. (laughs) The door to let us cut through the property instead of having to go all the way around was locked. So we were able to flag some down to let us through the building and get through the building into a car drive all the way to urgent care, get to urgent care after we've already notified them that we're coming in with maybe a... And told them specifically what the thing was. We we think it might have been an elbow dislocation or something. Uh And we roll up, we get out. They proceed to tell us they cannot treat this. (laughs) So we get back in the car and take our son to uh, the children's hospital. Yeah, ER. Which everybody there was great because um, after being there for a little bit, uh, we get a room. They give our child fentanyl. Yeah. Yep. Uh, get x-rays. And the radiologist says, you know, along the lines of, I'm not a doctor, so I can't give you professional opinions here. 
but she turns the monitor to us and sure enough there is a piece of bone that oh, is dude. poking nothing looking good there to the side and looks jagged and that's Oof, not what we should picture. be um yeah so we all knew something was up and then they came in and told us that he needs surgery they don't know if they can get us a room for the night so we might be staying in the er all night we got lucky though. We did get a nice we room. We did get a nice they, room. While you went nice home room. to get us stuff to make sure we could be more comfortable, they took us to a room that was so cozy. It really was nice. And uh, you know, come to find out, he needed, you know, emergency surgery in the morning. Got two pins in, and uh -huh. Jesus Christ, that was terrifying. Yeah, but the good news was is that we went for his follow up appointment ten days later. Now this this does not conclude. The hellscape that has been the last three <laughs> That's four only weeks. day one. No. Um, but we did just to, you know, not leave people hanging here. Ten days later we went for his follow up appointment and it had healed so well that they couldn't even tell that there was a break anymore. Um yep. so he's gonna get his cast off. Maybe even by the time this goes up it'll be No, no, I'll get it up before then. He's <laughs> getting his cast off the day before his birthday. So So yeah. So he's gonna be fine. So that was the start of it, I think. I mean, after yours. So, Friday the 13th. Yeah. yeah. No so. longer a day that I will cherish as being mm -hmm. good. Oh, no. And I didn't even think about this. But also, just coincidentally, um, I and Gretchen's dad, Walter, were scheduled to go away that weekend for a special weekend that I was taking Walter to see the Commander's Falcons <laughs> NFL game. And I had gotten us some really pretty good seats um to this game and we got in a cool hotel and we were going to go to the bar this barbecue restaurant and we had all these plans yep, and yep. of course and that, that was gone yeah because you're not going to leave your family no your i didn't even want to no. leave you guys you know i yeah. mean it was, it was and never my dad happened. didn't want to leave either yeah you know? yeah um, oh i was giving your dad constant updates on that um so then what happened I mean, I don't know the order. Uh-huh. Well, we were talking about the car. I'll just say this, too. And so we get, finally, the car, uh, to get back to the car situation. We get this accident. We bring the car, and we drop it off. We have a rental car for whatever it is, 10 days. We get the car back. Our cars, it was the the rear... Bumper. Bumper. Camera. Lift gate panel, thing or like whatever. Everything needed. All that stuff, right? So we get the car back. It's It was it's like been, thousands of dollars. Yeah, worth of it was a, you know, like a couple weeks went by, you know, everything's Everything fine. Everything was fine. And then until, what, yesterday? When now the back won't open up anymore. Yep. So yep. the, the thing that was open. repaired And is... it's not like the repair place is close to us. They're on the other side of town. Mm-hmm. So no, that's... they're they're quite far away. Oh wait, you had some fun with the um, the car rental when you dropped it off too, right? Like you had to be driven back. Oh yeah, that was so. You know, it's Enterprise. They didn't have a car, so I had to get the rental car and then drive it back to the Enterprise place to drive the person who dropped the car off to me back to the Enterprise, which makes me think like, what's the point? Yeah. But <laughs> what's the what is service am I receiving here by yeah. by doing this? Um, yeah, but I mean, that wasn't really too bad. I mean, I wouldn't put that on the same level as we now have rats chewing through our electrical wires in the attic as well. I don't know if it's a rat. It could be a squirrel. No, but our electricity turned off once today and the lights have been flickering and we've noticed that we're hearing some scratching and clawing. But it's too late to call anybody. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Um, let's see. Oh, so the other day when I was under a very high-pressure deadline. Um, <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, I forgot about this. eight gigabyte files that I was working on crashed my system. Basically destroyed your computers. Yeah, I mean, just destroyed All my three computer. computers so, all yeah, at once. So then I have a server computer, and I went and I started working on that one, and things weren't working right. So then I pulled out my laptop, and then my laptop started having issues. Um, so... And in the middle of all of this, or at the beginning of all of this, and I'm freaking out and having a near panic attack, I have to get on a conference call. Oh, yeah. You texted me that this was happening in six minutes before your conference call was supposed to begin. Yeah. Thankfully, six my minutes. laptop was working enough to do the conference call. Oh, my gosh. I thought you were going to be, like, zooming on your phone or something like that. Oh, God. Could you that imagine? Would have been so, that would have looked so unprofessional. Thanks yeah, for like you don't me even have a nice job. computer I have to use. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is great. 
<laughs> yeah. Oh, and so let's see. The other day, um, Rob, you do this fun thing where you have Lincoln on your shoulders. Oh, and God. you dodge, you know, our hanging moss and palm fronds and, you know, well, uh-oh, we're going to get stung. And it's such a cute game. Well, I did it. And um, our neighborhood is full of sweet gum trees. And if you don't know sweet gum trees, you absolutely know their seed pods, which are the little balls with spikes all over them. Mm-hmm. I stepped. We on call them itchy balls uh, when I grew up. I was grew up. Well, balls. I'm going to start calling them something else that but... isn't radio safe. Um, <laughs> and I step on it and proceed to fall with my son on my shoulders. It was so terrifying. I mean, I saw it right in front of me. I tried to swing my body to be more on the grass. And you did, you did like, in a way, like he was but still, he still on top of you. The side but you too. hit first and kind of did like a slight roll bend. So that way, like you, you slowed it down, you know, God, for him. Terrifying. But yeah, he, then he hit his other elbow and it was like, Oh my god, are you kidding me? Like, my first thought was, did he just break his other elbow? I know, like, him being on top of me probably puts us at, like, six feet. He fell six feet to the ground. And... Farther than he fell at Oatland Island. In fact, <laughs> I thought that that was the potentially more dangerous situation. Like, what happened? Because he fell onto the sidewalk. So, I mean, like, at Oatland Island, it seemed like he just fell into some ferns and stuff. And then, like, oh my god, he broke his elbow, you know? Yeah, oh, I had the flu... Also, mm. when Lincoln broke his elbow. Remember that earlier that week I had the flu. Yeah, yeah. That that was... Our, our friends um, really mm-hmm. saved our butts watching. This burn is starting to go away, though, now. It's actually <laughs> looking a little bit better. So I have this very large burn on my left wrist as well. Because it literally just does not end, this story. Um, well, but yeah, I have this large <laughs> burn on my arm. And, you know, speaking of health stuff, we, you know, I wanted to take the bearded dragon into the vet because he just seemed a little off. Mm -hmm. Uh, And that's the the closest exotic pet vet is mm, 30 minutes away. You can get there faster, but generally speaking, it always takes 30 minutes. Yeah, 20 to 30 minutes. Uh Um, And, of course, they're doing construction on the road going up there. So it was a one-lane highway, uh, which really slowed things down quite a bit. So I was late there. The appointment went well. You know, I always get A pluses on my husbandry. I know. Very proud of that. I did a lot We're of work. We're all very proud to, of it. I did. I would pass my test. On no that joke. Day. Gretchen is great with this lizard. Um, and so poor thing needs to get blood drawn. We're just gonna, you know, they they don't see anything wrong with his poop. There's no parasites. He looks great. So of course, you know, dude's doing great when I take him. So they take blood, and let me tell you, if you've ever seen a bearded dragon black beard, you know it's pretty impressive. Dude, they go black beard. How cool is that? That's pretty awesome. You yeah. know? So he was... He was it's called not... black bearding. I know. <laughs> <laughs> he was not happy about getting a needle stuck in his tail. No. No, um, but I mean, at least he only has to just do it this one time. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, wait. Let's so the other Let's tell the rest day, of the story. Yeah. Uh, a week... And a half goes by a week, and um, I get a call that the blood sample was uh, left, I don't know, left out, did not get tested fast enough, and it was a degraded sample, so they couldn't use it, so I needed to bring him back to do more yeah, blood draws. Yeah, do another blood draw. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, and while we were out there, um, I was going to pick up uh, Ponko Chicken as a surprise, like a nice little like evening little treats restaurants, for us, yeah. Only to find out it has been yeah, shut it's down. It's closed. That's yeah. great. Yeah. <laughs> Those tofu uh, fried tofu pieces or whatever they had is just it's gone forever. But I mean, I I know we're missing things at this point. But let's just say there's been reasons we haven't done a podcast. Oh my god, it has been. <sighs> it has been. We're hanging in there. Yeah. Oh, we forgot a major part of the story. I can't believe we forgot this. The cat. Oh, Jesus Christ. (laughs) I just blocked it out. Literally the day before Lincoln broke his elbow. No, it was the same day. It was that morning. 
that cat came in. Our so house? so okay, yeah. The story, so yeah. the Friday the thirteenth morning, there was a poop explosion in the lizard's enclosure. So I had to clean all of that up. And let me tell you, it is the worst smell I've ever smelled. It is, guys. I don't even understand. It is so horrible. It's not really like. It's legendary too amongst pet baby owners. poop is more floral and gentle. Seriously, if you got a kid, <laughs> you don't, you're not prepared for this. Um, so I get that all cleaned up, and as soon as I'm done, there's a knock on the door. And someone who works with the city says that he's been walking around doing his job, and this cat is following him, oh, when it's blind. Yeah. So It I'm looks well cared for, though. Well cared for. It had long hair that was not matted, so it mm-hmm. was brushed. It did not have fleas. It didn't have a collar, but it just didn't look like it was a cat that's been living out on the street oh, yeah. for and forever. And when cars were going by, she would run towards the cars. So we knew that, okay, this cat isn't a street cat, because street cats aren't going to run at cars. Right. Um, so we figure, okay, well, she got out. All right. I'm here. This person has flagged me down. I have a space for this cat. We've returned multiple lost dogs very quickly in Mm -hmm. this neighborhood. And I was like, okay, cool. Somebody's clearly going to react and answer really quick. They're going to be like, oh, my cat got out. You know, like, oh, you know. Post on all the boards. And it didn't happen at first, but I was was optimistic because I was like, well, we've got it in the morning. Maybe people are going to come home from work. They'll check social media when they get home from work and they'll say, oh, my cat. You know, where's my cat? Gone. You yeah. know? Mm-hmm. So that's what I was thinking was going to happen. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, unfortunately, the first night the cat was here, Lincoln broke his arm. Rob was still out there feeding it. There was water. Mm-hmm. Okay. So we get back Saturday afternoon. Mm-hmm. I go check on the cat. It seems a little iffy, so I'm mm-hmm. making it's sure. It's gotten stuck multiple times at this point because it just... In a small space that I keep closing things off and mm-hmm. just stuck in, in places that mm-hmm. I, I don't even and understand. And it's just creating total chaos and disaster yeah. in the bathroom. Yeah. Just making a giant mess. Um, but, you know, we're feeding it. It's giving it water. But Sunday it really wasn't along. eating, though. No, though. Sunday comes along. It has not eaten or drank water. Um, and I know that if we take it to the emergency vet that takes in strays, they will just put it down. So I arranged an appointment for Monday morning and we knew the cat was not doing well. So we went and gave it fluids like we do for our cat very often Mm -hmm. um, to make sure that it had something in it, that it was, you know, fluids really help. So, you know, we come back in from that and I'm like having a panic attack basically because I'm thinking this cat is not going to be alive in the morning. And you asked me what was wrong and I told you and you volunteered to go check Mm -hmm. first thing in the morning and so what did you find yeah I mean the cat had passed away um so it was you know unfortunate it didn't seem like that it was in any pain it was kind of curled up which was at least at least it felt like we gave it a little some warm space to live in and wasn't hit by a car or something you know if it had been left outside it would have yeah um but we never heard anything nobody ever responded and uh so yeah um so we just buried the cat near our other our other cat shiva and um that sucked yeah well, I ended on a really high note. That was, yeah, that was um, but so that was a part of that. That happened that weekend. It was the surgery weekend that that happened. We came back to that. Yeah. I mean, that's the string of bad luck that we've had, y'all. Like, I don't even really know how else to describe, like, what has been happening. And I don't really think we've been egging the universe on in any sort of negative way. I mean, I think we're trying to do good things and be good people, and we are. I think. Yeah. You know. Oh, it rained on Halloween too. Yeah, that's that, that affected a lot of people. You know, yeah. yeah, it was just. We had a great time on Halloween. Oh yeah. man. So. Oh, also one of your hair appointments. You always schedule hair appointments back to back with Lincoln. Um, now, and uh, it ran an hour and a half late, so yeah. we couldn't get that your hair cut. Awesome. Yeah. That was no, cool. my hair is just all raggedy, but that's just that's a minor inconvenience compared to some of this other stuff. I know, but it just keeps piling up. Yeah, and we it was have... funny though how in the last two days also the tire pressure monitor has come on in our car and now the service car the service car needs service 
light has come on as well. So I need to go get the oil changed. And that tire is always going to be deflated. Mm-hmm. Yep. Those are all really kind of minor, though, in comparison. Yep. Aren't we done? Let's just call this quits. <laughs> this is it. This is, there's nothing else. We haven't talked else. to anybody about what's really going on. No. So, so we just is, thought we would. This is not an RPG podcast. This is. No, but I do feel like I am playing a role in some sort of like, I mean, you have that character that's like Mr. Luck. I feel like we are playing. Oh yeah. White privilege. Mr. <laughs> Mrs. Unlucky. Um, I don't know. Yeah, it's, um... Tomorrow's a new day, so we'll see what else happens tomorrow. Yeah. Hey, maybe your football team will win. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's get out of here, and, um, you know, I think... Hey, there, was hey. there any mention of any gaming there? I don't think there was. No. No. But, hey, you know, we talked about it. You know, I would... If you're having a string of bad luck, uh, or as I like to call it, WTFery, um, but you know, actually say it out because this is a family show. Um, that you just, uh, you know, let us know and know that you're not alone. No. 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 And In we're this not. lonely, cold, dark <laughs> world. And with that, let's get out of here, Gretch. We'll, we'll talk to you next time, and next time we'll talk. You have to use your catchphrase. Dude, I'm scared to say take care, y'all, because, you know. You know it hasn't been working. It Let's hasn't just been get working. out of here. That's, from now on, it's just going to be arr. arr. Take care, y'all.